Hello everyone, how are you guys tonight? It is Thursday evening, you guys are live here on the Dixie Bell Paint Facebook and Instagram page. Um, my name is Brandy, I am the owner and artisan behind Brushed by Brandy. If you guys don't already, I hope you'll go give me a follow on Facebook, um, Instagram, I'm also on Pinterest and YouTube as well. I actually have a new video coming out on YouTube tomorrow as well. So I do a weekly video on there for you guys as well. A full start to finish tutorial. Um, but tonight we're going to paint live. We're here to paint live. My husband, Sean, is here to answer any questions you guys might have as we go. Um, and what we're going to do tonight is we're actually going to um, work with waxes. So Dixie Bell just came out with the new Silk line. Silk is an all-in-one paint. Um, this color is called Nautical, which is a deep kind of navy blue. Um, and Silk is an all-in-one paint, so it doesn't require a sealer. You don't have to seal the paint. So I have this piece here that we're going to work on tonight. This is painted with silk and the color is called Baja Gray. Um, it's most similar to the color Driftwood in the Chalk Mineral paint line from Dixie Belle also. So um, my base coat here is two coats of Baja, um, Baja Gray. I did also put on um, underneath a base of Slick Stick and that's because this piece had really, really slick, a really slick finish on it. Um, and Slick Stick is a gripping primer. So it just is gonna help that silk bond to my base underneath. So two co or a coat of slick stick, two coats of Baja Gray is what I have on here. It's not sealed, you guys, and that's what I think is really cool about this paint is we're going to work with waxes on it with unsealed paint. If you guys have been painting for a while, you know that as a rule, most people say that you should seal your paint before you're going to put on dark waxes. Um, and that's because it um, raw paint will absorb the waxes when you put it on when you're talking about chalky style paints. It will absorb the waxes and it's harder to wipe back to get control over it. Well, I'm going to apply my dark waxes to unsealed paint because it's silk and it's got that built in top coat. <gasps> Can I, I ask know. you a question? No, you may not. Are you going to wax it on or are you going to wax it off? <laughs> I'm going to wax it on with this hand and wax it off. With Asking this for one. a friend. This one and this one. This is my strong arm. This is my game arm. This one's not bringing its A game. Whoopie, whoopie, whoopie. <laughs> but okay so you guys i also get to show you guys tonight that we have new dixie bell brushes coming out too so you guys may have already seen i've seen a few people use it on their lives this is the scarlet brush this is the scarlet brush a lot of our retailers have these in stock and um, these came out and they came out so quick and popular they sold out within hours um, a new order is on their way to uh, be on the website, but a lot of our retailers have them on hand. So this is our Scarlet brush. She's so pretty and so slim. Um, she's a redhead, a little fiery. And then we have um, some new additions to our natural bristle brush line. These are coming soon. These are not available yet, um, but we're gonna get, this is called the Best Dang Brush. And that's because it's the best the best thing brush. brush um our wax is called the best thing wax this is the best thing brush it's super soft you guys this is a great wax brush you know what else i like this for massaging in big mama's butter so big mama's butter is an oil-based wood conditioner and you could just dip this in i'm going to have one that i dedicate just to using with big mama's butter and massaging it into my wood surfaces um so that's coming pretty soon but tonight i'm going to use this one this one's called la petite you know, I just want to kind of throw it out there. You know, I interrupt you because it's what I do. I know. It's kind of what I do best. But uh, I don't see anybody reporting from some warm place. Everybody's talking about it's cold here and cold there. <laughs> I hate to tell you, but we're in California, which is generally considered a warm place, and it's cold here. It's yeah, cold, it actually just started now, raining today. Yeah. But that's good. We need some rain. Our lake is a little bit... Oh, empty. there is also stinking cold South Dakota. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that was a city, place. but we've hey. Never, we've never been. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to use Besting Wax in brown, and I'm also going to use some in black, I think. And that's because I like the color that these two make in combination. So the brown is kind of a true brown, um, and when you add it with the black, it makes it kind of like a more mahogany-looking brown, like a um, like a, a dark brown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm going to use them two together. But I'm going to use my La Petite brush. This is the first time I'm using it. Um, before you use natural bristle brushes, you guys, you want to kind of work them out um, or even wash them beforehand and work out any loose bristles. It's common for natural bristles to have loose bristles um, the first few times that they're used. So wash your natural bristle brushes out. This has a nice pointed tip on it. So I'm going to use it and I'm going to get some of these waxes into these corners and that's going to really make my life a lot easier. I'm going to dip right into my brown wax. Okay, just a little bit of uh, best stain wax and brown. This is unsealed paint, you guys. 
and I'm just gonna wipe it on. What I really wanna do is I'm gonna use my waxes to kind of bring interest to the frame on these drawers. These drawers have a really pretty shape, but when you've got just the paint on its own, it kind of gets lost that you have all these pretty details. I wanna keep the center of my drawer nice and light, so I'm just gonna wipe it around the edges, and I'm gonna come back and do a little bit of black too. And this just makes that dark brown shade that I kind of want. So I like to combine those two different colors of wax. And then I'm just gonna come back and take off that excess wax. Now right away you can see how easily my wax buffs off of the silk. And I'm gonna show you how, how I'm gonna get it nice and clean afterwards. But I can buff it right off the top. Um, dark waxes are kind of cool because you can change the shade of your paint color. So if you wanna darken your paint color, to just a slightly deeper tone, you can use dark waxes and it will give you variation in your shade of paint. I'm gonna add a little bit more down here because I wiped away in the line that I wanted it. All right, and then my secret weapon that I'm gonna use, because this still looks really muddy, I wanna keep this area clean, I'm gonna use baby wipes. So, Sorry, I just had to giggle because there are these people talking about not, whatever, <laughs> negative nine and whatever, and then there's a few other like Susan says, oh, it's 58. Like, oh, can't, it's Susan 64, at? like SoCal. <laughs> where's and, you know, like, <laughs> where's the one that's like, it's a warm negative 20? Well, nobody wants to hear from that person because everybody knows that they would just get hate on them right now. Yeah. I'm really not like a, a snow bunny by any means. I'm more of like a snow panda. Oh my gosh, you guys want story time? Let's talk about the first oh, time I took Sean's sweet snow ski. Geez. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's Sheila? Okay, um, <laughs> you guys, so. What I'm using right here is just a baby wipe, and you'll notice that I put I have my wax, right? And I got too much where I don't want it. So I can just take my baby wipe, and I can clean that right up. And see how wipeable this unsealed paint is? Unsealed. Unsealed. That's the biggest deal about this, is you can use your dark waxes, and you don't have to seal your uh, paint first. And it's still got nice and wipeable. Got that FBJ unsealed. Unsealed. And it wipes away. So the thing you do want to make sure of is you want to make sure that your paint is nice and dry. Don't do this prematurely on your paint. If your paint, you just applied it an hour ago, don't do this. I would give it at least a full 24 hours before coming back and trying to uh, give your paint this much rubbing. Because you definitely do not want to pull your paint back off. That's not the goal either. The goal is I want to just deposit some of my dark waxes just around the edges um, to kind of add some dimension to this drawer. Okay, so what I found there is I probably got too much excess. My brush is probably a little bit too large for this, this drawer space because I ended up having to wipe off a lot and I don't wanna do that. So I'm actually gonna come over and get an artist brush and kind of work that direction instead. Cause I wanna decorate these drawers but I don't wanna spend all my time wiping my wax back off. Yeah, so Anne Marie had the question of if it's gonna basically put me out of work because there's no top coat. Oh, what, a tripod? Yeah. <laughs> oh. A monkey and a tripod, yeah. and we're golden. A monkey on a bicycle? We're yes. good. John will be out, I like of, that video. out of work. Yeah. So I'm coming back, this is my best thing, wax in black, and I'm just gonna darken up some of these crevices here. Do you have an idea when those brushes are gonna be dropping? Yes, um, uh, I do. I don't have, don't have an exact date. Oh, you guys, I need to check my phone. What's it rhyme with? <laughs> it rhymes with <laughs> later. <laughs> Alligator. Um, let me double check. I will come back on in the comments and I will respond. I can't remember if we have an exact date yet. That's the thing. I know that it's not today, but I don't know if we have an exact date yet. They are arrived. I know Dixieville has them. I just am not sure when they're going public. Good question. I should have looked at that before. I'm sorry. Dixville, if you're on, do you know the answer? All right. I'm kind of working this a little bit because I, I, I have a look in mind that I want. I want kind of just this softened edge around here. Maybe I just need to take it off instead of wiping it back into the center. Oh, Betty says it was minus 25. Betty, That's I a think, warm, I thought Betty warm. was in a warm place. No, different. Oh, it, different, Betty. Yes. Oh, okay. You're throwing me off. Alberta. Oh. I just like to say Alberta. All right. I'm kind of playing around with this because I have a look that I kind of want here and I'm not getting it. You might have noticed. 
but <laughs> like I have the playability that I can sit here and figure it out by just wiping it back off where I put it, putting it back on. That's kind of let's let's figure out our system here. I want to keep that center nice and clean and still get this soft little halo of wax around my edges. You don't want to get in there nice and close. Give the people what they want. It's about time you tried that. I know. It's a breezy 68 in Phoenix. I'm going to come over to this store and try a different... Um, come over to this store with me, though. And I'm going to try a different process. I'll come back to that one in a second. Okay, this is just a long artist brush. This is my black wax. This happens to me a lot, guys. What did someone say to me today? And... Oh, I know. She said she wanted to come like apprentice with me. And I was like, I mean, if you could see my process, it's honestly a hot mess. You'd be so mad. <laughs> it's like a Hollywood set. Yeah. Like it does not always happen on the first time. That's something you don't see in an edited video. Okay. I like this a little better. So I just took a little bit of my, of my black wax. And I put a line of it right around the edge of my drawer, and then I'm going to come back and I'm just softening it with a different type of natural bristle brush. All natural bristles. And that's because I'm asking a lot from these bristles. I'm going to work them pretty hard. And then I'm just going to kind of buff away the excess around these edges, and that just further softens it. I like this look much better. It almost gives a blended look, but without using paint. I love working with waxes, love working with waxes. And then I just have, I like this here. And then I just have to clean up around the edges of my drawers, just like this, where it kind of got on the frame. So I kind of worked out a process. Now I can just duplicate that on my other drawers. A Little bit darker around these edges, that light center that I wanted. Um, but, I, I like that I had the ability to play around with it and work with the silk. All right, so let's take this off right here where I still have my excess wax on. And then I can come back and fix it. I also like the black against the gray, I think, because that's really, really pretty. I think that's more of the look that I'm going for. The so video I'm is in a loop. Lucky you. Hmm. I mean, I hope it's on a good part. Oh. What I would do, go out and go back in again. You might be, it might oh, there be we go. Thanks, Mar. Uh, live internet or yeah, the live feed. I'm going to come here on this medallion right here, which looks kind of like a, a star or a sunburst. And I'm going to work a little bit of wax into that as well. This time I'm going to use my La Petite brush and I'm going to get it into all these crevices. It's a really detailed kind of ornament. So there's a lot of times when uh, wax and glaze can do double duty when some of it just comes down to personal preference. This is kind of one of those situations where I'm using the wax as like a glaze. I just want it to get into those low points. So tonight, a wax can be a protective coating or it can be used decoratively. Tonight, I'm just using my waxes decoratively. So you can see here where I added that uh, dark wax over my sunburst and then I'm just going to clean up some of the high points using my baby wipe. Unsealed paint. I would normally not apply waxes like this unless my paint was sealed. With silk I can do it on my unsealed paint. It takes waxes, decorative waxes, beautifully. You can wax over it for protection too if you want. Um, I'm going to leave this probably in its raw finish because I love the low matte finish of silk. It's, um, oh gosh, it doesn't have a high sheen. It's a very low sheen paint. It's not matte. It's just very kind of soft. It reflects light just a little bit. Right, I'm not looking at that head on. It looks like I need, did I miss? Oh no, I just can't see. I'm just... I was going to look pretty comment even? on whether you shampooed all your hair or not. I know, sorry. I can't, I can't see from this direction. <laughs> I can't see if it looks even or not. I can't see if it's looking at me. Does it look even from there? 
Or do I need to get more? There you like go. That? Yep. Okay. That's what I'm trying to tell. A lot of help you are. Yeah. I thought we were doing a head and shoulders commercial there for a second. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Try not to leave it on the camera, but you know, if you're working on your own, like you don't have to think about these things. Where's the camera? Where's my head? Where's my head at? I mean, you should worry about that. Yeah. I just want it kind of very deliberately placed in the crevices of this little like sunburst. Gotta right keep here. your head in the game. Um, I try. Let's see how many we can do. <laughs> yeah. All right. All the head <laughs> jokes you can think of and go. Oh, you guys, I do need to tell you something. Oh, man. <laughs> you, you are I gonna, always cringe you are when you do this. this. Someone just had a birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I cringe when you eat. Well, that was so cute of them. <laughs> you guys, Sean is a year older today than he was last week. Make sense of that. He had a birthday since... No, I'm not good at math, but... <laughs> at the math. At the reading and I the read, writing. I rewrite math. <laughs> All right, I feel like that's a little more even. What do you guys think? I don't want it perfectly clean. I want it to be a little bit, I want it to have this kind of, I love this drawer. I'm super happy with this drawer. I'm gonna to try to duplicate that drawer. So now I wanna come <laughs> and add some in this molding here. And I'm gonna do it around my um, my curved legs too. And Marie's my new friend. I, don't look, <laughs> I look pretty good for 80. Your one friend. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't look a day over 79, in my opinion. <laughs> But you guys haven't seen him first thing in the morning. You look so. like a young 80. <laughs> All right. So I put, Thank you, everyone. I put a little bit of my uh, black wax, same thing, in that little crevice right there. And now I'm just going to kind of work it out. I want to create this little bit of like a whoops, Hello. softness. But this was my rim shot. Only a really a rim shot. Uh, and then I'm going to buff away the excess around the edges. Put it on, take it off again. Put it on, take it off again. It's like I do a lot of that with blending too, I think. All right, and then I just want to darken up like this very innermost crevice right here, crevasse. So that way it kind of fades out. So the deepest portion is my darkest black, and then it kind of fades out as I work to the outside. Same. Let's do the same thing with the drawer. Just really darken this crevice right here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. I love it. Apparently what fell was my cane. <laughs> my bad. It's your glass eye. <laughs> there will be no Sammy <laughs> Davis. That was your, your leg. Your wooden leg. All right, I need to come fix this middle drawer. What do you guys think? Do you like this wax look? I feel like oh, this table has really pretty details, but they get lost with just the simple paint color. It needs a little bit of the wax hmm. to bring out some of the details. So I, I want to clean up. I, I like the contrast. That's why I clean it up. I want to keep that contrast. I want you to see the light. The lightest color is my just my paint color on its own, and then the darkness of the wax against it. But let's just do a really quick demo on this middle drawer that I kind of messed up and I have to clean it up anyways. I like when you are so good they can't even tell if you're live. <laughs> Somebody thinks this is recorded? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> oh, when they come in and say replay? Okay, I'm just softening now this line again. Since I wiped back the very edges, I just want to soften that line again. Okay. Let's do something. If you want to apply wax over all of your piece, we'll use black. You would come and you would apply it over all. And this is going to create just a slightly deeper paint shade. So I'm just using my wax kind of for shading, but let's go ahead and show you how you would do an all over wax on silk. Okay, so you would massage your wax in. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to wipe away this excess. And I'm just going to buff it back. And you can buff it back as much or as little as you like. And then we'll look at the paint shade with, by itself and then with the black wax over top so you can kind of see what the impact of black wax is. So yes, the background color is Baja Gray. Uh, Baja Gray from Silk. Okay, I'm gonna show you something else, but hang on, let me finish buffing. One thing at a time. 
I'm not buffing here for shine. I'm buffing here to take off my excess wax. It changed my paint color a little bit. Can you guys see how it's, a, it's slightly darker? And I can buff away as little or as much as I want. So it gives you just a slightly deeper paint shade. I'm not trying to take off it, take it off completely like with the baby wipe. I'm just buffing away the excess. So my paint shade is left darker. That's how you would apply an all over wax on silk. So it's a little, it's kind of gives you like a, 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 dark waxes are meant to duplicate dirt. So when it dries, is it supposed to dry hard? Uh, are we talking about the paint? The wax. Oh, the wax, Sorry. yes. The wax. So if it doesn't. Okay, so a couple things. If it doesn't, did you apply it over um, a, a sealed surface? That would be my guess. If it's been sealed underneath, it does take longer to cure. It doesn't have anything to absorb into. You've sealed your paint off. That makes sense. You've created a barrier, so it's going to take longer to cure. If it doesn't, you may, and you're applying it all over, you may have too much wax on your piece. So when you put wax on, you just want enough that it, goes into the top layer of the paint and you buff away the excess you guys saw how much paint i buffed or how much wax i buffed away from this center drawer here um, it's meant to be buffed away if you're going to use it just as a decorative accent over sealed paint then it's going to take longer to cure because you created a barrier okay i always seal over the top of those decorative waxes again because they don't have anything to absorb into you created a barrier um, so I seal again over the top of it, and then it's nice and protected in there. Dixie Belle waxes are water-based waxes, okay? Best Stain Wax is water-based. I can seal over the top of it if I need to. So um, I'm, I, I would not feel like I needed to seal this over silk, but if you wanted to, you can come back and seal over the top of your decorative waxes, and that will hold them in place. So two choices there. I would say either seal again over the top of it, or you've got too much wax and buff it back away. Um, you should not have any wax sitting on the surface. If you're using it to protect your piece or an all over wax, like I just did here with the dark wax, you buff it away. I should not have any left sitting on the top of my surface, but it just kind of duplicates a little bit kind of a, of a dirty look, like a worn look. So you can kind of see the difference here between an all over wax and then here where I just used a decorative wax too. Um, a wax can be decorative, it can be protective. There's a whole bunch of different uses for it. You guys, we're doing art here, so there's not any right or wrong way. There may be a million people who like to use waxes in different ways, and there's no right or wrong way to use them. But I can decide here, this is a completely different look than what I've done over there. I am going for this. This would be more of your aged, rustic, you know, kind of dirty farmhouse. I say dirty, but I mean dirty in a good way. Like, <laughs> I mean, it sounds <laughs> like you you don't want to clean it, right? It's supposed to be that way. Like you open the front door and you turn around and walk right back out. But if you look at the raw paint color here, Baja Gray, you can see what, um, this looks a little brown because I had brown and black wax on my brush, but you can see what the dark wax is. It deepens your paint color. So if you just want it slightly darker, you can just put a wax over the top. Um, but what I, I wanted to show you guys here, so... Dixie Belle just came out with Fandex. These are true to color Fandex, which I love. I'm having a lot of fun with these because what I find is you can take this with you. I have wax on my finger. I just got on my Fandex. You can take this with you. And if you want to color match something, you can go out to your, you want to paint it the same color as your car and you can hold this up and it's going to give you, um, I was going to say that's not to color but it's the wrong color <laughs> it's going to give you what the closest color match is here okay so this is my baja gray and this is my baja gray paint sample these Bam. are true to color paint samples so if you're out shopping and you find a pillow that you like and you're not sure what color paint to use or a comforter that you like and you want to pull a paint color out you can put these in your purse and pull it out that's what i was going to do i mean your man wallet yeah. your purse <laughs> Your kangaroo pouch. That's what I like to do is <laughs> walk got. around yeah, yeah. with my satchel. <laughs> and you can, uh, what do they call it on Seinfeld? <laughs> your, your European, European carry-all. Carry <laughs> you can put it in your European carry-all and you can pull it out and you can hold it next to something. Here's my towel. I want to match my towels. Okay, this, this color would be my closest match. So I love that these are kind of portable. 
They can be added to. So right now they have a screw in it. So you can add to it as we add colors to the line. Those will be available in silk and they're also available in the regular line. Throw it out there, Brittany. Glorious. So really quick, uh, not to take you off of what you're talking about, but, but it's you know, really we're moving on. Squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, your lift, what you have oh. this on. Oh, you guys like my furniture yeah. lift? It's nice, huh? Well, there are a few that appreciate you're not sitting there on the floor. Why? You guys like my stool, right? No love for the stool tonight? Okay, you guys, this is my um, hydraulic. It's not up front and present. It's a hydraulic furniture lift. It's from Harbor Freight. It was just an it upgrade. It was... Oh gosh, hundred and eighty nine dollars. What? Plus they do their coupe. Oh, I mean what? I mean Wait it was a minute. on clearance huh? for ten ninety nine. What the heck? <laughs> we spent how much? That's a rip off. Uh, but they do their coupons, so uh, it holds up to five hundred pounds. Sean, get on here. Show them. Show them. It won't hold me. <laughs> five hundred one. <laughs> All right, let's do this other drawer over here. I'm I don't gonna, like your attitude. I'm gonna fix that one. Watch. You guys want to watch me fix it? I don't like this wax. Ah, baby wipe. Look at that. Do you guys see how much I'm scrubbing this paint? So you can kind of imagine if this is in your kitchen. Get in there. How wipeable it is. So when did I apply this? Uh, two, two days ago? Three days ago? Anyway, two or three days ago. And I can come back and pretty much scrub away all the excess wax on here. And then I'll come back and apply it the right way once this is dry. But it also gives you the freedom to really kind of play around with your look. If you want to experiment with wax, you don't have to be afraid. Unsealed paint, silk. Okay, so I just wiped it all off and I've got, I'm back to my clean paint color and I can wipe it back off around the edges. So if this is your kitchen cabinets, you're going to feel like you can still wipe that silk. It's extremely wipeable, you guys. Even unsealed unsealed okay so once i'm back to ground zero i'm just going to dry this let me find kind of a spot on my rag that doesn't have tons of wax on it huh i've seen that rag before does it look vaguely familiar that's so weird it's like your outfit from Wednesday. yesterday yeah sorry about that <laughs> okay and then i can clean it back off and i'm kind of back to ground zero where now i can just apply my waxes deliberately how i want to so do you feel like that gives you a little bit more freedom to kind of play around? If you're a little bit nervous, um, you can kind of play around with the silk and then it's super wipeable. So I'm gonna come back and do my, my actual look that I wanna keep, we'll do it on this third drawer here. So I just deliberately applied it, uh, my, my Besting Wax in Black using an artist brush just around the edges of my drawer. Oops, got a little bit too much. I got a chunk on there. Um, Besting Wax is a nice soft wax. So if you do want to apply it overall, like we did on this one here, it's really not a lot of arm work either. It goes on really nicely. Some waxes are more firm than others. And Besting Wax is a really nice soft wax too. So it doesn't take a lot to put on a coat of wax. Same thing with the clear wax. If you're using it for protection, it goes on really easily. So now I'm just kind of working out this little bit of wax that I put just in the crevices here. I'm gonna get back to that like softened, softened look that we did on the first drawer. Oh, we do have a request. What's that? No chunks in the crevices. <laughs> oh, <laughs> happy to oblige, trust me. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna wipe it with my baby wipe around the, the out here, this outer rim where I got extra. So the other thing I feel like is this gives a little bit of a blended look. You can get that softened edge that a blended look gives without having to use paint. So those of you who are struggling, you want that softened look, use waxes. They're smeary and smudgy and soft and all these things that give you that nice softened look and you can do it with waxes if you're struggling with paint. Pretty much any word that only applies to a wax. <laughs> yeah. Smudgy. And... Well, I like it. Um, if you ever took like art class in high school or whatever, no. it would be. No, you never did. You <laughs> oh, really I did. never did. I, I probably did. I slept through it. <laughs> Obviously. Man, I was all over it. Um, and same thing down here in this crevice that we did. A little bit in my crevice. 
what I mean what else would I call that like in my low point at the low point in my life <laughs> and then I'm just gonna work it out with this which is just another natural bristle brush so I like this bigger brush was just was great for the all over wax but when I decided to change and just do um, a more concentrated application, I needed a smaller brush. So this would be great for all over applications. Um, it just got a little bit excess wax. I ended up having to clean it off in the center. And let's do this little sunburst over here. And then I wanna do the legs too, because these have really kind of cool legs and I wanna bring out some of the detail in my legs. No, <laughs> not buying it. You don't wanna bring out any of the details in those. So I'm just hitting, I'm going to get this in, this is, I can, I consider this using this wax more like a glaze when I'm using it in this sunburst pattern. I prefer working with waxes over glaze, but that's a lot of personal preference. I've seen Tracy of Tracy's Fancy use her wax like a glaze. You can use it just to darken up those low points too. And then it's just a matter of finding what do you prefer? Do you like working with waxes or do you like working with glaze better? Glaze is a liquid, that's what the difference is. So this is a paste form, it's a soft paste, um, whereas glaze is completely liquid. So would you rather do this with a liquid or a paste? My answer is all day long the wax. And then knowing that you don't have to seal your silk to be able to put dark wax accents on it, it saves you a step right there. If you wanna do these looks over silk. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Do you see that? This goes, it's directional. And so when I wiped this way, it pulls it back out of the crack. That's what I did over there. So I just need to wipe up over here and down over here to keep it inside. Nobody really cares, do they? Well, I think because of the trolls that are ha starting to happen on uh, Instagram, right, I'm going to have to shut, shut it, it down. down. Sorry, Zero guys. Zero tolerance policy. Geniuses. Not going to happen. <clears throat> And we're back. Yeah, sorry about that, Instagram. If you were over watching on Instagram, please come over to Facebook. We're much more friendly over here. Bye bye. Bye bye. Honestly, uh, the Instagram's gonna thank you, Sherry. Instagram's gonna have to get it under control because yeah. otherwise, it's gonna be they're gonna lose all their live broadcasts. That's the second week in a row, and it's not hate for my work or anything, which I can handle. It's um, vulgarity and things. You work in social media, you've got to be thick skinned to do it, right guys? Okay, so I'm just cleaning up the very um, edges here. I might put a little bit of gilding wax like around the this outer. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> I'm feeling <laughs> wild here. I might. Do I uh, discard that? Meeting? I feel like gilding wax would be really pretty on this design right here. Just a little on this outer rim right here. And then maybe a little bit just kind of accenting the center. I'm going to pull this wax down a little bit. I don't know. I feel like you have a lot of control with wax. But I've also talked to people who would rather poke their eye out with a fork, then use waxes. So I really think it's a matter of personal preference. I kind of like that on the top and the bottom, just softening those edges. And I'll just wipe away my excess. What do you think? Should we put some gilding wax on there? Why don't you do that? Because <laughs> I have to go get it. That's why, that's why I would not. How about we don't do that? <laughs> yeah. But I feel like I have the freedom to kind of play around, put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. Eventually, I suppose you could start pulling some of your paint, but I think it would take quite a while. I was able to work that pretty good. I'm going to get my gold gilding wax. Oh, yeah. Excuse okay. me. Pardon yeah. me. No, no, Without sorry. Me. We didn't mean to be in the way. I guess Allison says uh, you should do it too. Okay. So my gold <laughs> gilding wax, let me pop the lid off. And I think I want just some around the edge here. Sorry, I was giving you sound effects. You know what that was? I thought you were chewing gum. Oh, that's how it sounds? 
I guess with my two wooden teeth. <laughs> okay, my aunt, I remember, used to get so mad at me as a kid for chewing gum. She would be like, stop, it sounds like you're a cow. Uh, hmm. I know, she was nice. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> she was a lovely person. <laughs> she wrote for Hallmark. <laughs> yeah. No big deal. I'm just applying the gilding wax with my finger, just a little bit of gold. I don't want it to look perfect. You can get either a nice clean line, but I'm just kind of wiping it on a little bit irregularly. That's kind of this dark wax look. It wouldn't make sense to have like dark, dirty crevices and then have nice, clean. I mean, I guess you could. There's no, there's no right or wrong way, right? But in my head for this look, I like kind of a faded gold. I don't know. Do I want to do Can you wipe same? off gilding wax with a baby wipe? Yes, you, you, yes, you can. You guys want to wipe it off? You don't. What? Is that what you're saying? Huh? No. <laughs> can you wipe that off? It was just a question. I'm just gonna kind of brush some of this, just brushing it softly with my finger. I'm, I put it on, and then I'm just pulling down, and I like that it kind of just shades that little edge of that sun. But you guys want to see what it's like. This is a baby wipe, and I can wipe off my gilding wax. The other thing that works to take it off is if you take a rag like this, um, no, I don't want to wipe, no. <laughs> do I walk in front of the camera again? I'm, I can <laughs> again. Okay, oh, sorry. there we go, hello. I'm gonna show you another way you can take off gilding wax, hang on guys. Because the, the gilding waxes are oil-based. Do, do you want to know what remo removes oil? Ooh, oil, oil removes oil, Big Mama's butter. So if I put gilding wax on and I don't like it, I just take a rag, dip my finger in there, and there's a little bit on my rag, and then I can just take it off. And that removes it. So either one, um, either the baby wipe or just using a little bit of Big Mama's butter and the oil removes the oil. Now I feel like it's a new commercial. So I feel like these are, um, these are ways that you can really play around by having this silk that you don't need to seal first and then it had that extra wipe ability so I was able to really play around with my waxes until I figured out the look that I wanted. Um, and same thing with the gilding wax. There's ways that you can play with these products and not have to be nervous about mistakes or getting it right the first time. I'll tell you what, I don't get it right the first time. You got or any the, silver over there? Or the second. Huh? Right? We got a request for some <laughs> silver. I have these in my huh? European carry-all. Huh? My kangaroo pouch. Huh? Um, <laughs> I don't. It's in my drawer. You guys want to see silver again? I mean, it's not like you haven't walked in front of the camera. Okay, I'll do it for you only because I know that I can remove it, but I'm leaning towards the gray. Okay, hang on. I'm going to... Sorry. Oh, my gosh. They're close by. It's so least. just ridiculous. Of course, I have. I'm silver. trying to give the people what they want. I know uh, silver looks good with the Baja gray. Let's come over and do this other one in silver, and then we can compare and contrast. Then we'll take a poll. Oh man! Here on we Facebook, go. an official poll. Oh man! As long as it's not on Instagram. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, Instagrammers. <laughs> All right, this is my silver gilding. And go. Oh no! Wait, can you back it up and then go again? <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> this is not an edited video. Okay, so what I find is the silver is really um. Uh, the same tone it's too close. as yeah. the Baja Gray, but it just adds shimmer over it. So I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's shimmery. Can you get it? So it's a pretty combo. It's way more subtle though than the gold was. It just looks like when the light hits it, you're going to see the shimmer of the sil of the metallic. But it's the same tone as the gray behind it. This would be pretty over. You could do. This is nautical would be pretty. You'll you just notice it more against the gray. It's not noticeable much at all. Oh, well, Mary Jo, you have no idea. One in a million. <laughs> are you that mold got broken really quick. <laughs> all right, like that. It's just not very noticeable. I'm I would vote for the gold in this one just because I you can't really see it. Go big or go home, guys. There we go. We got the gold. So I feel like I would also, once I put my waxes on, I might put a little bit of the gold around here. So I usually try to use the rule of threes, okay? That's a real thing in design. Um, and that is you want to have odd numbers of your colors appearing in places. So if I use the gold, I would put it on my starburst medallion. 
maybe on my hardware and then on the legs. And then I've got bam, bam, bam. That's my three. Usually when I do threes, it's commas. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I like my dollars it's with like, commas. Oh, three of them. It's like, what kind of round sentence are you making? <laughs> okay, so so those are just things that are appealing to the eye with the science. Oh. When I use the science. Uh, but using things in threes, fives, odd numbers are usually more appealing than using that in just, you know, say two would be. It's real. It's it just, yeah. It's just common. I Googled it. Yeah. I watched a YouTube video. All right, you guys. So tonight we use Besting Wax in brown and in black over a base of the new Silk All-in-One paint in Baja Gray. Not that color, not but... Not this color. Yeah. I'm not blind. That is not the right color here. I'll show you my right color with my fan deck. Because I also Are you going to show us the hand. right color with your left hand? Oh, I wanted to talk about one other thing. Damn, I'm good. They're not going to kick me off. Okay, so this is my Silk Fan Deck, which is all of the 20 colors that the Silk comes in. But granted, there's a little wax on it right now. so uh, Only on these two colors. Only on the pink one is where it huh? really got No, no, no. I mean on the... Never mind. Oh. <laughs> oh, my, oh gosh. my gosh. <laughs> okay. Hello. The other thing I like these for is... The Wi-Fi network. You might want to check the connection settings in the Google Home app. Google. Oh, man. Turn off. That woman doesn't be quiet. <laughs> Can I train her better? <laughs> Sorry, that was my Google. If you're looking for color combinations to blend with, this is an easy way to say, what does Baja, what colors would I blend oh. with Baja Gray? I could take this and I could play around and put it next to, right, I like it with, uh, this is, um, Wharf, which is a slightly darker gray, and then this would be my third color, which is black sands. And so right there, I can I can put the colors next to each other when I'm looking for combinations to blend with. I like to blend in three color combinations. There's my three color combination right there. See, Fireball Jr., you're right. We covered a ton of stuff and not just paint. I know. Hmm. I am good for something. So same thing with the um, with the fan deck for the chalk mineral line. So another color combination I like to use is this is plum crazy how does it look with aubergine and then what's this mid is that midnight sky that's in the navy see and i like the size of these things it's not like I a know. one inch square it's, it's super of figure it it's out super practical that's what i think of it too so this is a color combination i like right here but you can actually look at your colors together my hands have <laughs> you really need to take care of your, take better care of yourself but you can put your color combinations together and actually see what they would look like should i blend Plum Crazy with Aubergine and Midnight Sky. Those look good together. If I wanted to try another combination, oh, uh, Muscadine Wine, nope, don't like it as much. So you can really get a feel for, these are available on the website right now, you guys, by the way, for what do color combinations look like if you're looking for colors that work together and you don't own all 69 colors in the line, you don't have to, you know? Um, so anyway. I'm like, why are you looking at me? I don't know. Because I want you to be like, oh, wow, that's <gasps> great. Like, you know the guy in the infomercial that, that's totally buy-in, but you're selling? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it's not I a love, good two-party system here. Deck. I find yeah. that I have it in my purse now. Anyway. It's pretty hard to sell to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and then we use also tonight the new the new brushes. Oh, that's how you really didn't like it? Yeah, the new, that's actually my favorite one. I'm going to use this all the time. I got to be careful. That one's I got weight to it. I will probably have one that is dedicated to clear wax and one that's dedicated to dark wax. And then on these guys, I'll have one that's dedicated to wax and one that's dedicated to Big Mama's Butter. That's my plan is I'll have um, one for each. Oh, man. Guys, yeah, I do need some hype guy training. Yeah, I, I do need a hype guy. Huh? Yeah. I need that. We'll look into I come it. from an era. That, that was a big thing. Sean's a more laid back, excited yeah. kind of guy. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's more of a laid back, not excited, at excited all. kind of guy. Um, all right, you guys, I'm going to pop off. This was fun. Um, so play with, don't feel afraid to play with your dark waxes over silk. It works really, really well, and you don't need to seal your silk first, okay? So I'm going to pop off. I will um, see you guys next week, next Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern. I have a new video coming out on YouTube tomorrow. Go subscribe if you haven't already, and you'll get a notification the minute it's posted. Have a good weekend, guys.